Hello viewers, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're talking Creators Cup action. Hopefully you saw 2018's version in which uh, no, no four manager YouTubers won it. So that was disappointing. But it's back again this year, hosted by Football Manager and uh, the guys over there. And there are eight competitors taking part in this year's event. Now, I've got a list, because I'll be honest, I can't remember who everyone is. Um, but it's me, Lujo, Worth the Space, Golden FM, Second Yellow Card, Fox in the Box, Dave as a Party, sorry, and Big Herb the Nerd. Okay, then. So, uh, you will know now, if you've seen their video, of course, go over and, and check it out by all means. Uh, I play Lelujo in the quarterfinals. The video for that will be tomorrow. Uh, this is a Friday. It'll be on the Saturday. Uh, over on his channel first in the morning, around 11 o'clock, I think, and then I'll be playing in the afternoon uh, for the second leg, so you'll see who wins over the battle of the two. And uh, yeah, well, hopefully, if we make it through, there'll be more. If we don't make it through, there'll be less. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. But I thought we'd do is because there's no real opportunity to talk you through the team. Um, but I do think that my team is quite good. I actually had a plan this year. Last year, I went in, scattergun. I was like, right, there's no plan. We'll just pick who we pick and then form something around it. This year, we had method to the madness. So this is the squad that I managed to pick myself. We had a five hundred million pound budget uh, with five grand on the line. So I thought this year, let's, let's take it seriously. Uh, last year, of course, I went out in the semi-finals today as a party. He, he slapped me up all over the place. So you can see for a straight away, a plan was formed and a system has been built. I'll show you the system afterwards. But if we sort our team then by, by player value, uh, these are similar to what they were in the draft. They're not identical, I don't think, but they're very, very close. And uh, you can see big money was spent then. Uh, Kylian Mbappe, Douglas Costa, Virgil van Dijk. They were the big three that, that were pivotal to the way we play. I actually wanted, I'll say this, I actually wanted Gareth Bale, um, who frustratingly plays for Lelouchon. So we will be playing against Bale uh, tomorrow. Um, the, the problem is that Douglas Costa, while a backup player, wasn't my first choice. So I'm not sure if he'll fit into the system quite as well. I guess we'll see. Um, midfield, I had pretty nailed down. I wanted Moussa Dembele. Moussa Dembele is a really good, cheap option on draft mode this year. If anyone's playing draft mode against friends, Moussa Dembele, about 15 million. Well worth the money. Um, but you can see our midfield there as well. Jorginho, Allen, Fakir, and Fabinho. That's sort of the three. They were our next four most expensive players, weirdly enough. I thought we'd get a very strong midfield to sit in the centre there. And then we'll focus on some of the other defensive areas, goalkeepers, later on. As we move towards them, you can see uh, Costello is there. Of course, the Juventus player. Hadanovic is my goalkeeper. Olivier Giroud, my front man, my target man, you'll see why in just a moment. Andy Robertson at left back. Thiago Silva. So we've already got a back two. If I, if I switch it around a little bit, you can see back two now. Thiago Silva, Virgil van Dijk. That is what you're talking about. With headers being such a pivotal po point of this year's game, with corners being so influential, I figured that would probably be a good option to have. Uh, Andy Robertson, I genuinely think, is one of the best left backs uh, on the game. I think he's very, very good. Him and Trent Alexander-Arnold, who's another player that I would have really loved to have uh, in my side. I think Herb got him uh, in the end, but yeah, I'd have loved, loved to have had him in my side. Um, so Andy Robertson at left back. I say Consel at right back a very capable right back defensively not fantastic but going forward great crossing ability uh, very good on the ball and in the system that we play I don't really mind if they're defensively really solid although when you see my system that sort of contradicts itself um, I mentioned it before Hananovic will be in goal very very solid 20 reflexes one of the only goalkeepers on the game with 20 reflexes uh, 16 handling great one on ones just an all round solid goalkeeper 34 years of age age is no barrier to a man like Samir Hananovic uh, who I think is a superb goalkeeper David Spinner is in as well uh, I've used David Spinner in my pressure uh, tactic on my stream so if you if you've been watching the stream David Spinner that was for you stream I hope you enjoy that he wasn't the only one either uh, it's worth noting that Tim Sparv made it into my team for similar reasons, it was very, very cheap as a player and an option to bring in, cost me barely anything, um, but can play the anchorman role really well. And for those that have now watched the Brescia save, you know exactly where this is going, I think. But we'll continue down the line, uh, of course, with Giroud, I wanted players that were similar to Olivier Giroud, so uh, Lorente was brought in. And I've got to say, though, having played against Giroud quite a few times uh, in Italy, because he moved to Lazio in my save, he's very, very good, like ridiculously good. Um, too good, if anything, so I thought, that's the man I need in my side. Uh, so he's going to be my target man. And let's look. We've gone through all this. Fine. Milan Barros was 500k. Milan Barros is surprisingly good on the game. Considering he's 36, it feels like he should be 45 viewers. I agree with you. Um, but yeah, 13 pace, 13 acceleration, agility and balance still over the 10 mark, which is pretty good. 17 composure, 14 off the ball, 15 finishing, 15 first touch. I think he's not too bad. His work rate isn't the best anymore. Admittedly, he stands there and just shoots, but he's not a bad option to have. Um, similarly with Layun, actually. Although not an older player, can play left back and right back hence he was brought in um but isn't likely to start for me in, in any of the games unless injury hits or suspension so this then is the system that we're likely to play uh, i can quick pick it because i know it'll pick the exact team that i would like uh, this is what i had in mind when i was formulating my plan i've not even touched on the fact Kylian mbappe is the star of the side really so quick on the counter attack I and mean, you play 
quite a cautious style. Again, if you've been watching the stream, you will know all about this. Uh, the tactic basically is a counter-attacking, very direct style of play, um, which really st stops opponents from scoring. Our main aim in this tournament, viewers, is to frustrate the life out of the other people playing. And what uh, my theory was that I don't really care if I bought really good forwards. So like Giroud, Mbappe and Costa, while very good, aren't like the best cream of the co crop players, although some of them were available to me. My plan was... Everyone's going to have good attacking teams. So what I'll do is I'll play defensively with a really solid core in the centre. Like that four, that four or five there. Uh, Silva, Van Dijk, Fabinho, Allen and Jorginho. That is, that is a bit of a wall to get past. If you've got really creative players in the middle, we've got pace out wide on either side. So if you, again, if you've got the, I know the likes of Neymar and Bale are in, in Kev's side, I suspect Robertson and Cancelo, they're quite good matches for those players. And that was what I had in mind when playing uh, some of the other people that I knew would be picking the best attacking players because that's the logical thing to do, right? And admittedly, Mbappe is one of the best out there. Um, I think Mbappe was my first pick, actually. Kylian Mbappe, just, as I've mentioned before, fantastic stuff. So, the, essentially, system-wise, I want the ball up to Giroud as much as possible and uh, Costa's going to be our outlet on the left-hand side and Mbappe is going to be beyond Giroud. If Giroud gets any flick-ons, brings it down, looks for a ball across to, to Mbappe. If Costa gets it, if Jorginho gets it, if Allen gets it, they all know straight away Mbappe is ready on the last man. Even if Cancelo gets it at right-back, they all know that Mbappe will be ready to fly at any point and he really does do that. It's fantastic to watch. Um, hopefully, we'll see him do it in the tournament. Otherwise, this would be an entirely embarrassing video where I talk about how great my system is. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little run through. Uh, by all means, if you've not checked out the other guys' teams, hopefully they're making videos on their channel. If not, you'll obviously see it when they play each other. Um, I don't know, how do you think I stack up? To, like, system-wise, of course, I, I didn't have the first pick, so I couldn't have got a Messi or Ronaldo, but then again, I knew I wouldn't have. There were four players that I went after that I would have wanted, actually, that I didn't get because people had already drafted them. Uh, that was Edison, it was Trent Alexander-Arnold, it was Gareth Bale, and it was Moussa Dembele, and everybody else I wanted. Like, I had this team very much in mind, so if you'd have put Trent in there, maybe, Moussa Dembele in there, and then Bale, obviously, would have given me more money because I'd have saved on Jorginho. Yeah, get it? Um, so that, that, was, that was my system. So whether it would have been better with those players, I don't know, but I think Douglas Costa is going to be a decent player uh, regardless very very quick great dribbler as well he's going to cause any right back problems um he's, he's probably quicker than the likes of Bale and Neymar as well so I'm not massively worried about Kev I've got to be honest I'm, I'm more thinking about who I might play in the, in the semi-finals if it comes to it of course this video looks really stupid if we don't succeed yeah okay well hopefully you're looking forward to it as i say it'll be around six o'clock tomorrow 6 p.m uh the second leg but do check out the first leg i think kev is playing it sort of live ish uh, at 11 a.m so do check it out and uh yeah it should be exciting the creators cup links to all the other creators in the description down below and if you're looking forward to the creators cup remember to creators cup even make sure you're subscribed right then good i got through that whole video without sniffing once i'm getting better yes come on things can only get weather